Welcome to another episode of JG Live. I'm Jennifer Gibson, your host, and I have quite a show for you today. Joining us are two men of whom some would call extremists, terrorists, and patriots, and yet they couldn't be more different. Our first guest is former Chief of Police Johnny Perrazzo, Editor-in-Chief of the inflammatory alt-right website, GreatAmericanNews.com, or GAN, as it's more commonly known. Some of his more controversial political stands are reinstatement of stop and frisk policies and more. And sitting across from him is award-winning author of Third World City, Fear of Falling, Pan-Africanist speaker, stern activist, and community organizer, Dr. Terry Lorraine. With the recent swelling of violence on track to surpass record numbers of last year, we look to our leaders more now than ever for guidance on action, action that may curtail the violence in our city. Welcome, gentlemen, and Welcome. thanks for being here tonight. Uh, the first topic of discussion, we want to talk about gun control and gun violence. Well, to be completely honest, Jennifer, it's ridiculous. These murder numbers just keep on going up, and, you know, the year or two since I've been retired, that... You know, you have these thugs that are killing each other, keep on killing their own kind, and it's, they don't care about each other, so why should we? You're clearly speaking on the African-American thugs as you, as you refer to them, and it's clear to me, Jennifer, that the former chief here doesn't have a clue about the inner workings of the city and the communities around it. Really? So, I'm the problem. I'm the problem with your neighborhoods. You know, think again, people are really quick to say that police are the, are the problem, but the police are not the ones that are committing the black-on-black -black crimes that we see. Now, let's talk about that, Doctor. It's, it's true that criminals normally attack their neighbors. They normally attack their neighbors. So, black-on-black -black crime is a myth. Blue-on-black crime is what it's about. That's what's going on today in these neighborhoods. And we're, we're, we're talking about senseless violence here. We're not talking about organized crime. This isn't the mob. This is more like a pack of wild dogs running around with guns that just do whatever they want. All right. Quick question. What makes it senseless? What makes the crime senseless? Because if the crime was senseless, don't you think it would be more easier to catch the criminals and stop the crime? I know you, I may be a ahead of myself. I know there's no such thing as stopping crime because it, without crime, you wouldn't have had a job. Officer, these things, these murders aren't just senselessly happening in our communities. Sometimes there are rules put in play by us because the police can't get it right. I mean, it's sad to say, but somebody has to pay. 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 Thanks, man. Let me know you get it, all right? Well, 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 look who it is. Where you been, Seth? I haven't heard from you since Sundance. I thought you'd be buried under a pile of distribution offers. Maybe you and all that money you're going to make off me. I thought I'd be that something. Third time. <laughs> yeah, your, your movie played good at Sundance, Dex. 
And I heard you got a standing ovation and everything. But um, then the one about the homeless man sitting on the park getting a standing ovation too. Boy, everybody get a standing ovation. You steady calling my phone like you don't know who you talking to or something. Like Listen, the reason why you ain't seen me in these streets because you got everybody on fire. State's attorney, news reporters, and not even mention Mo King, boy. You crazy. What? Seriously? Listen, man, he can't be mad at me. He can't blame me. Look, man, he's got his own shady business. I mean, that's just what it is. It's his shady business. I mean, if his gangsters want to do gangster shit, he's got to learn how to pull him back a little bit around me, you know? He shouldn't be giving me all that access. It don't matter what you think you should have done. You were supposed to do a documentary about his fucking label. You were supposed to deliver. Instead, do bullshit on his name. Yeah, Said, you know that is bullshit. Look, man, he hired me to film, and then I filmed it. He wanted a doc, I made it happen. How am I supposed to know that cops are not film buffs? It wasn't supposed to be about no drugs, no guns. Man, I vouch for you. Man, you fuck. Music. Music. Okay, let me tell you something. If it was just about music, they wouldn't be uh, showing their pistols, right? Flashing their guns and dealing dope right in front of me. Man, I just caught it on film, you know? I mean, if anything, I didn't favor, right? Give mad street credit. White boy, you just don't even get it, dude. They call you a snitch. Man, it's hard to be successful when niggas get popped being in your documentaries. Man, I'm gonna see what I can do. I can check some sources or something, but it ain't looking good. Man, thanks, Ed. You know, strike while the iron's hot. <laughs> All right. Don't thank me yet. stranger to gun violence and gang activity, but with increases of up to 60 to 70 percent in homicides and shootings while alarm bells ring all over. I don't know, you go to the pub. Like the Jesus spring. Uh, are you by yourself? Of course you are by yourself. All right, so here's one menu for you. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, water. What kind of water? Like lemon water or? Just, just water, no lemon. So Do you want it in a mug? Just water, please. Please come back in like five minutes, okay? I'm going to check on that you guys. What are you doing to Good afternoon, Tamara Covington, Channel 4 News. Outside the courthouse, awaiting the outcome on a preliminary hearing, we were told Geronimo King and his charges. Okay, here they come down. What can you tell me about the indictments that are being brought against your client and his associates? I do believe you mean alleged associates. And we're certain that our client, Mr. Geronimo King, will be completely exonerated on all charges when this case goes to trial. These charges won't hold up as Mr. King has only helped this great city thrive, what with his recording studio franchise, which takes urban youth off the street, his real estate development, which helps single mothers and families, and his philanthropic efforts. He's a humanitarian, not a kingpin. Okay, but what about his links to the cartel and the drug and racketeering charges that are pending against your client and his associates? It what about all those murder charges? Okay, again, alleged associates. And we're certain that these charges won't hold up as Mr. King has only given back to the community so much. And 
These charges are baseless, nothing more than that. So we expect a swift exoneration. And you can expect to see a civil suit for the defamation of Mr. King's character on the heels of these fallacious and downright egregious allegations. That will be all. Thank you. That is the latest of the captivating case of the enigmatic so-called Mo King dynasty. The sheer number of allegations would have been difficult for anyone to overcome. But the case against Gervonta Mo King has been made all the more compelling by the recent and rather high-profile release of video evidence by first-time filmmaker Dexter Mata who recently took the independent film circuit by storm. Speaking of film, we now will go to the set of the newly released film that's being shot right here. What do you got for me, Sid? Damn, hello to you too. You know they call me a first time filmmaker? That's what's kind of a fact check. Man, them students feel don't mean shit, man. Be glad they don't. They ain't exactly blockbusters, man. Nobody want to see no religious shit. I got something for you. I'm going to bring you out of that shit, boy. Oh, yeah? <laughs> see, this guy for real, dude. Ain't no Hollywood shit. And then word is, broke that body, too. Damn. Bodies? Yeah. A bunch of them, too. Supposed to be some type of pro. He say he want to get out the game, so it's like, nah, I know. Sounds intriguing, I'm listening. I'm finna see what's coming. Take that photo. Hey, it's your only chance, though. You ain't gonna never get one like this one. Said, you know I'm a pro. You know I got this. This ain't my first one. Alright, better make it work with you. Yo, you like five minutes late, man. I almost changed my mind. It's 7.15. Yeah, if you're on my time, 15 minutes early is on time. Okay. We can start whenever you're ready. As a venture center, whenever you need to. Oh, of course. Yeah, no one's thinking, man. <clears throat> what if I use this? Only metal chair? No, don't tell. Okay. Got like a code name, calling card, Mr. Yo, for what we doing, man? That won't even be necessary. Okay. Damn. It's kind of like something catchy, kind of badass. Don't get that too bad. 
Well, my name is Dex. I don't know if we've properly introduced ourselves. Uh, I'm just going to get this set uh, real quick. So I think the obvious place to start would be... How'd you get into the game? I'll let you know in a minute, white boy. You drink it? Yeah. What do you got? Call it the Outlaw Reeves. What's that? Mm, Henny with a splash of lime. I usually use roses, but they ain't have none. Take the bottom cup. Oh, I didn't actually see it under there, so. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Well, yeah, man, uh, my business didn't really start out like that, you know. A lot of people ain't grown for this. Happen to have a situation that exposed me to it. You know what I'm saying? Once a nigga proved himself capable, word spread and shots got caught. My bad, my story kind of started out like the best ones do. The other day to see if you like me too, and next thing you know, your mom picked up, said you can't have a boy phone call. Huh, she make me sick. But I can tell all the boys be looking at Sasha because she finally got titties now. But you know, Sasha, it's not even like that. You know, my boy Woody like her anyways. But didn't you used to talk to Tiffany too? <laughs> my story kind of started out like the best ones too. I knew I shouldn't have been walking down that block, but I was trying my best to impress Shorty. Some niggas on the end of the corner that's always fucking with people when they walk past. I ain't think shit of it, though. Man, them dudes beat my ass. Could have sworn they done broke a rib or arm or something. I was fucked up. I ain't no that, so please get back. Told you twice, I'm trying to be nice. Don't let no rain get you smacked. But I knew exactly where to go, and I knew exactly who to go to. And I only had one thing on my mind. Fuck happened to you, shorty? I'm the little niggas from the street that the person can jump. I'll take it. Who's now? Bro, I swear, if I could, if I could have something, I would. Yeah, <laughs> man, this nigga crying, he ain't gonna do shit, man. Yes, I will. It's like, bro. bro you yes, ready, bro? If I want ready, I want to be here. And that was the worst shit that they ever did. It was on. I was too mad. How do you feel? The whole time, though. We actually gonna do that shit. Motherfucker ain't know who did it. I don't know why I was full of anger like that. But it wasn't nothing that could stop me. There's no turning back. Hey, you did him wrong. <laughs> I'm talking about real kick stop action. A time, little Josh shit. Don't need no security. Please get out my face. Enjoy my day. I don't want to fuck nobody. I ain't fit to play. Just get out my way. Please get out my face. Enjoy my day. Hey, hit a nigga loud or something. All right, man. Kept squeezing. Then I got the fuck up out of there. Shit, man. A double murder at age 13. Most kids that age are learning their way around a bra strap, let alone learning how to hold a Glock. Nah, I ain't say I got both of them. 
One of them was like a vegetable for like 10 years. They say it was pneumonia that got him. <laughs> That's cold. I mean, I, I, I mean, at your age, right? To go through something like that in your, your formative years, I mean, that had to have an effect right here. You know, how did you deal with that, you know? Like, what did that do to your childhood? How did that change you? I mean, see, that's the thing. Like, it wasn't a business for me at first. And that's what was weird, you know? Like, I didn't flinch. I mean, it wasn't like I was a bad kid or anything. Like, I had good grades, top test scores in my class and everything. I mean, my life ain't really changed except that, you know, I just knew I could kill. And the block knew I could put work in. Never saw that little cutie again, though. You know, I've heard that it's really common amongst sociopaths. No offense, but sociopaths, killers, that they don't feel anything when they're killing somebody. That it's, it's almost uh, easy. Which one are you? Does it matter? One as good as the other in the city, right? A sociopath? Maybe. Killer? Absolutely. So you keep that in mind next time you ask a stupid-ass question about what's easy. No, listen, I, I mean, I'm no offense, but I'm just... Look, man, this ain't TV or the movies or none of that. Ain't shit easy. It's been almost 20 years, and I have my share of not-so-easy jobs. Okay. I, I think that was a boundary that I crossed, so let's, let's change the subject. Tell me, um, tell me about uh, a time that uh, you felt that it didn't go right. Tell me about something that happened that just one of your jobs that you caught that didn't go right. Hmm. Well, at this time, man, I'm starting to get a little bit more seasoned in the game. Start smelling myself, you know? Mm -hmm. Like a dude that just first started getting pussy. Yeah, right. <laughs> now, I do remember it was this heavy on the south side that fucked up a couple of the shipments and all of a sudden went off the grid. Why are you always fixing your hair? Every five minutes. Because why? You, look you don't want me to look pretty for you? You always look good, but damn, you fix your hair every fucking five minutes. All right. Now you got that too. Yeah. Now you got an attitude? Man, just like your fucking mama, man. So, how long is it going to be? Because she's supposed to be stopping by anyway. You ain't tell me that shit. Well, I just wanted to get out the house. Well, listen, once we take care of this shit, then we're going to ride out, man. I'm not going to rush shit because your mama coming. Fuck her, man. Hey. Right. Oof ass shit. You always, how the fuck you always be heating me up, man? Huh? You always get me fucking riled up, man. Every fucking day. You say some old goofy shit. Let me guess, you gonna fix your hair again? Huh? Change your subject. Goof ass shit, man. Hey. That's some real goof ass shit. I think, uh, I think this might be not a... This motherfucker need to hurry up, man. Straight up. I cannot sit in this car with your ass this fucking long. This looks like a dude right here. Oh, alright, bro. I hope my mom isn't waiting for me at the house. Fuck your mama, man. Damn. Man, so why, why the fuck conversation gotta lead to your fucking mama? Let me go hard this nigga real quick, bro. I'll be back. Alright, bet. Give me the weed, though, fam. Be easy. That's what you want. Hey, hop in the back. Why, fam? Hey, get your ass back there, man. Why Damn. you gotta get in the back? Go fast. I can't stand your fat ass. Yeah. Get on my nerves. Shut the fuck up. 
Fuck you. Oh, what's up, man? How you feeling? Good. Hey, man. What's up with Shorty in the back? That's my little lady, Joe. She fuck her right now, but anyway. Yeah, okay. Anyway, the shipment coming from Cali again. It's going to be two 18 wheelers. They coming off 290. So you got to make sure your driver on point. You can't get no room for no fuck ups. Oh, come on, man. You see the 290? That's my shit. Anything coming off of there, I got it, bro. Trust me. Yeah, okay, I hear all that. But I can't have you fuck this up. Come on, man. Really, bro? I got this, man. All right, look, man. How your driver hit this line when they close to the link up. Right. Switch trucks. Okay. Okay. Bad, bro. All right, you can keep that. I got plenty more of that kind of from. Hey, I can't have you fuck this up. Man, stop worrying, man. I got this shit. Hey. Hey, get your ass back in the front, man. Thank you. Fucking attitude, man. Fuck. You see this shit? You see this shit? Look. It's on south side of that shit. Back, this, this shit coming in. We finna come up off this shit. Me and you. Me and you? Me and you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Blow up. I'm telling you. <laughs> Thought you had a friend. Goof ass. <laughs> wow. I'm bogus. Needless to say, those shipments never made it. And that's when I got the call. Now I had about six or seven jobs under my belt at the time. Shit, I took this one because it paid well. But it was also time to step my game up. Gee, they ain't gonna get bullshit. Huh? They ain't gonna get bullshit. Huh? Nobody. Huh? I'll break your fucking neck. Who you talking? Nobody. Well, stop fucking playing with me, you hear me? You hear me? Stop playing with me. You fuck about your sorry ass mama. Take your sorry ass on, bitch. Now I was expecting him to be alone, but this girl was there. I figured she wasn't too much to worry about anyway, so I just sent her in the room. Plus, I wasn't getting paid for her anyway. I'm creeping through this fool house where I find them laid up at. And I'm taking my time, because I feel like I had this one in the bag. Plus, I wanted to try this new silencer I just got.
Shit. Me, nigga. Fuck. 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 Nasty motherfucker. Yeah, man, sure is. Yeah, you might see me by the That's disgusting and insane. <laughs> Man, I thought it was totally different than that, you know? I thought it was going to be a, a quick, clean hit, you know? In and out, suit, tie, and the whole thing. Yeah, man, I guess you could look at it that way. But shit, 
It ain't like in the movies, man, you know? The whole bang, bang, <laughs> you die shit. That don't fly in reality. <laughs> no, it's not. It makes <laughs> sense. Yeah, man, it's probably like 40% kick screen and all that kind of shit. And it's a lot of fight. And I mean, that one got real messy. I mean, real messy. I mean, if that's puberty. <laughs> you mentioned, you said you felt like you were going through puberty through that. And then after that, you felt like you really... Well, actually, I don't really know. T tell me about that. Like, when did you get to that next stage where you grew up and you felt like you really became a professional? See, man, it was more like when, you know, I had to become a little bit more efficient and stop underestimating things. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't really too much long before I realized I had to know my target. I guess it is one that come to mind when a single actually turned into a double. Double? Huh. It was one of them hot summer days, man, that we rarely get, you know? And the target was some Playboy flashy type nigga. But, but a double, I mean, how did it turn to that? What did he, he had a chick with him? Oh, uh, yeah, he had one with him. <laughs> I mean, well, he picked one up, but the second target was his trailer. Trailer? What, what is that? Trailer. I mean, it's like somebody, you know, behind you riding, you know, no warrants, no weed, no pistols, none of that shit. So you ain't got to worry about the fuck boys, you know, pulling you over, running fuck your name boys. and, you know, any type of shit like that. So basically, you know, you just got a trailer, you know, but inconspicuous piece of shit, you know what I'm saying, that's carrying all your weight. Huh. That makes sense. It's a pragmatic solution to riding dirty. Remember that song? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I never really thought about it like that. Hmm. I'm sure. So the trailer carries everything? We Yeah, man. So carry everything like we weight, you know what I'm saying? Everything like that. But uh most importantly though, got more heat in it than ever knew. Now this target, he was always riding in something clean. This time I noticed he had a trailer with him. The fools was paying me no attention. Tried to stay about a block behind both of them. I got drugs on the pull up, plug on the pull up, gang on the pull up, shooters on the pull up, thorns on the pull up, every time I pull up. I got drugs on the pull up, plug on the pull up, gang on the pull up, shooters on the pull up, thorns on the pull up, every time I pull up. I got drugs on the pull up, plug on the pull up. Oh, yeah. So he slides over to pick up this little bad little chick, I guess, that he messing around with. Shawty came out looking like she was about to stop all kind of traffic. Shit, damn near made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> Damn, Jada, you know you be taking forever. It takes time to look this good. And you like it too. True. That's true. I'm hungry, Drake. I want some jerk tacos, taste buds, something. Man, I hope that line ain't long like last time. Shit, we about to head to the gas station, fill up, shoot up there. No big man go want something anyway, so. Oh, that's what that is? He cool. I like him. He's the best like the last nigga. Baby, look. Damn, what? What What you consider cheating shit? If I ain't fucking nothing, I ain't, I ain't cheating. Um, job. Talking, Texas, foul and shit. Looking at a bitch too long is cheating to me. What? Uh. Man, you sound crazy as hell. You don't get the hell out of here with that. <laughs> that ain't make sense. That make perfect sense to me. How? How you figure anyway? Don't you got a whole girl? <laughs> That's different. Anyway, what's up with this threesome, man? You know a nigga birthday coming up, man. Yeah. Whatever, you just want my girl. Man, I actually want both of y'all. Shit, y'all need to go on here and make this shit happen. Uh, we'll see. Your ass better act right then. Then what? Then I see Tasha do it. Oh, she'll do it. 
excuse me? How you pay that? Come on, man. I see how she be looking at me. You see how she be looking at me, man. You know I'm fly. <laughs> you get on my nerves. Like, that chick probably actually, she definitely will, though. Like, she actually mentioned it before. Man, listen, you need to go in and set that up, though. Just so you know, there will be rules, though. Rules? What the fuck, man? Listen, rules. Ain't no rules in no damn threesome. What you talking about? Easy. Like... She can't give you no head, and you can't give her no head, and she definitely, you definitely can't hit it from the back. You know how a bitch act like that when you do that. So what, what the fuck I supposed to do? Just sit there and watch? Yep, exactly. Come on, negative. Well, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I don't want to do none of that shit. Just forget I said it. I don't even want to do it no more. Fuck. Seven, bro. Seeing on six, and let me get some uh, switches, two packs. Damn, shorty, you just go bump in front of Excuse me like that. What buying something though? Excuse me, you seen me trying to get pants. All right, well, can you get my change? I ain't got time for all that right now, but I gotta bust a move. Let me get your number though. Um, you look like you got some company already. You nah, got a girl? Nah, I ain't got no girl or nothing like that shit. But look, we just trying to get up, like, see what's going on. My man hey, gonna yo, grab look, the number, though. Just yeah. give me your number. You know, let me put your number on my phone. We're going to call you later. We're going to check some things out, all right? Facts. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all better not be playing with me. I don't need to play. I'll right, put your number on. What's your number? 773. 773. You got some buddies? Me too. 3542. Yeah, I might. Bring them out, too, man. We definitely going to hit you up. Please do. What's your room today? Yeah, man, I'm out here all day, man, every day, like it's no tomorrow, big dog. Woo-hoo-hoo! Hip-hop fucking smoking, champ. Hey, let me get your line so we can bet back on you. Yeah, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? I seven, got seven, seven, three. Three. Seven, seven, three. Yeah, 373. 373. 463. 
right, man. You'll be surprised what a little bit of ground up glass and cyanide will do to a motherfucker. Especially somebody who smoked one and snoop one pass up on a bag of weed to save their ass. <laughs> right. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Pussy. Right after that story. I will take one of those though. Shit, that's my brand too. <laughs> Where'd you find this? And, yeah. Thank you. You got a light? That was impressive. I mean, clearly, it's not just being strapped. I mean, this requires a lot of uh, creativity, flexibility, and you gotta adapt to the scenario. So what's more important than being strapped? Almost. Shit, having a gun don't mean shit if they see you coming. Shit, it was more when I, you know, became a little bit more efficient and had to hone my craft. Like I say, you always gotta know your target. Certainly sounds like it to me. That shit seemed almost customized. What do you do, anyway? Shit, I don't know. I never asked. There's been a lot of cats out here that Wound it up in my sights, man, just for running their mouth, you know. Snooping around when they should have just been minding their own business. Really wasn't important to me unless the bread was right. And what would make the bread right? How much? <laughs> what, you got a job for me or something? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. Wise man don't speak on his pockets. Just know I wasn't working for pennies. Unless you got a job for me, we ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get it, boundaries. <laughs> All right, poison in the weed, check. I mean, that was clever. How'd you even know that that would work? Man, like I said, you gotta know your target. I knew these was the type of cats that'd buy from anybody as long as you got the biggest bags and the best quality. So, you clearly seem to enjoy the um, I don't know, challenges that this job presents to you. But you don't seem like you have any remorse. I gotta ask you, have you ever felt bad? Like you felt like someone just didn't deserve it. They were begging the whole time. Nah, man, like I told you. No remorse? Nah, like I said, emotions is the last thing on my list, man. Look, put it like this, let me tell you something. There's some people out here that's gifted in sports. Some people even gifted in music. And I know it might sound crazy as shit, but I feel like I was born to do this shit. And if I'm doing my job right, nobody get a chance to be. Wow, okay. So, was there a time when you just really kind of dug in and enjoyed it? Nah, I wouldn't call it enjoyable. But I did do one pro bono. You mean like free, right? Yeah, what do you think I don't know what pro bono mean? <laughs> you ain't the only one that went to college, white boy. You went to college. <laughs> right. It's a different kind of college, I think. All right, fine. Uh, what happened in this free, I'm sorry, pro bono one? How'd it go down? Uh, if I can remember a little bit correctly. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, my big homie, man, he, um, he was throwing his birthday party for, like, one of his nieces or... Little sister, some shit like that. And they hired a DJ. Um, shit, from what I remember, the DJ was doing his job, man. That thing was going cool and everything was going cool. Yeah, we lit now, so you ain't got a trip now. We go to parties and we get lit. And we eat up all the food. And you save a little calm, funny, right? Yeah, but listen, people laughing, people cracking, but now when we lit, they turn the music louder than after we just get to lit. Because we just some little kids up to lip Blowing up the house, got it booming like a bomb Cause the music got us going crazy, yeah, we losing control Next day, gotta wake up in the morning Brush my teeth, looking free A young boy almost changed me But I got him straight time Gotta go to school, come back Let me be lit, let's get it I'm lit, too lit, I'm lit, too lit I'm lit, I'm lit, I'm lit, too lit, too lit, I'm lit, too lit, I'm lit, too lit.
lit. I'm too 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 lit. I'm too
fucked up, man. I definitely want them dead, though. You know, if I want on papers, I'll be doing them myself. If I want on none of these papers, man, you already know I've been doing it myself, you know? Definitely appreciate you. Yes, sir. Shorty wanna fuck with a nigga like me on night. I'ma get a body right, fuck a body right on night. I'ma get a body right, fuck a body right on night. Soon as the sun go down, I bet I get up in ya. So I set up a little opportunity and I knew this fucking creep wouldn't pass up. I threw a back to school barbecue in a local park around the way. Told him I wanted him to come through and DJ for me. Let him know I wanted him there 45 minutes early so he could have everything set up before all the kids got there. Paying that guy to set up some fake decorations and stand by a grill really worked out. Fool didn't even have a clue. Hell yeah, fuck that guy. Man, if I was, if it was me, I probably, <laughs> I would have done the same thing. I mean, that motherfucker deserved it. Shit, I, you know, I would have done one better. I would have cut his balls off. <laughs> yeah, man, it's always good to do one on the house. I mean, bread got to be right, but... You know, sometimes a favor a little bit more worth it. Plus, that was big homie, and we family, so. Right. You know, I'm getting something from you. Every story that you've told me this whole evening, you've never gone after one child or one woman. So I'm just wondering, is that like a code of ethics for you? Is this like a, an ethos? Like a Batman? Women, women? It depends on the money, right? Children, nah. But with women, though, I mean, I don't do no silly shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, if she cheating on her husband, a little dumb shit like that. Unless the money, right? Okay, okay. So, so are there any particular women I'm going to mention it? Some more than others, though. Oh, I see. 
You're a naughty boy, ain't you? I get it. I know what you're not telling me. Sometimes you mix a little business with pleasure. No, that's not very professional, mister. What? Nah, man. Hell no. Nah. What about no chick? Shit, the streets took a major hit behind this one. You know, shit started really snowballing and got tight, you know? My big homie took a major hit behind this one. He lost his nephew behind one of them dirty bitches. What do you mean? Like a honeypot? Yeah, you know, kind of use a sexy to set you up. Uh... So Fat Cat, he was big homie's nephew and he was head lieutenant over on the west side. Man, he loved them strippers. He the type to always slide through, pick a couple of them up and take them home. One thing about Fat Cat though, he was real flashy and he always had to let it be known he was in the house. Now this one particular stripper, Sunny, she was always on some shiesty shit. Her and her snake ass cousin, Benji. And of course, she would have her eyes on Fat Cat that night. And he was on her too. You can call it a perfect storm. The first time they kicked this shit went smooth. Should have left it at that, cuz the whole time. She was scoping out his joint. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. If I won't get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And I got it, get it, get it, get it, get it. She told me, get it, get it, get it, get it. That I got it, so get it, get it. Then she said, I won't get it, get it, get it. Now she's screaming her body, so get it, get it, get it, get it. She told me. Probably even fucked a bit. She maybe even sucked a dick. So good, I maybe bust a bit. Ooh, we get freaky. Yeah, she's so classy. Behind closed doors, you better know it gets nasty. I put her on my shoulders, have her screaming while I eat it. And no, I'm not the devil, but with sex, I am a demon. Oh, oh. Girl, with sex, I am a demon. And if I'm not the strongest, I can make you feel the way she told me. And I 
Like breakfast, lunch, and dinner Got me standing at attention oh, About to no. get, it, get, it, get it, get it Get it, get it, get it, yeah Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it Say we had enough positions in this bed I think it's time you pin me up Up on the wall, baby Can't get enough, get in this kitchen On the counter I think it's time for dinner Better eat it all, baby Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I tell her, here, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, my nigga? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck all that shit. Sober, sober, some bullshit. Like, yeah. sober way the best way. At least you should be focused, man. Yeah, you focus, man. I need to be in the sky. Hello? You just hopped in the shower. All right, cool. We finna get ready to slide through right now. All right, bet. You already know it's about to go down. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Time to go eat, baby. Ooh, the call I was looking for. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let it go. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's almost time to go. So try to figure out what you want to eat, man. Nigga, home. Yeah, nigga, you know what the fuck it is, nigga. Where the fuck that shit at, nigga? Where the Dirty fuck that bitch. shit? Shut up. Ah. 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 Shut up. Ah. Nigga, come on, man. Hey, that shit up back there, man. Where that shit at? Shit back there. Come on, man. Don't that shit. What the fuck? Ain't shit in here, man. Fuck, fuck that shit, sonny. What the fuck that shit at? What the fuck? That shit, man. I ain't got shit in here, man. Man, that shit up in here, man. You better sit the fuck up or I blow your shit back. Hey, man, get this nigga, man. This shit up in here. Come on, play, boy. Alright, tough guy. You ain't gonna look as fuck. You can make this shit real easy. Tell us what you got. I ain't got a fuck with me. I'm out this y'all. She got, she got a little right. jelly bag. Yeah, shit, you can have that. Broke it. Come on, that shit up in Shit, 
This one really fucked the streets up because of who Fat Cat was. That's when Big Homie hit my line. level. He told me we'd get them other niggas later, but he really wanted that chick dead. I heard the police interviewed her and they had to release the trap because they ain't had no evidence on her. Crazy, right? Word got out that she was back at the club not even two months later. Real niggas just do it. Yeah. I don't ask for no favors. No. Nigga, fuck your six shot. My gun come with them lasers. Damn. Once I aim and squeeze, all you niggas there. Let a hollow hit you. Bullets knocking patches out of niggas' heads. I receive wallets like all you niggas. Nice. Riding around with influence. Nice. Smoking under that influence. Nice. Outlaw, so let's get the cash. And I told a nigga, let's get let's to go. it. Bad bitches, I've been through it. Uh. Why I treat them hoes like money? You just said another pussy. I've been getting shit in my whole life. Riding around with them real niggas. Nice. Smoking dope with them. Low okay. lights. All we do is just get cash and pop bottles the whole Let's night. Go. You ain't playing your role right. Why? That's the reason why your whole life. Them fast money and gladiators, them niggas yes. next to blow up. Ah. Pussy nigga, you can't win, so just stand back. I'm the motherfucking man and you can't stand back. Ah. Posted on the corner, I got work all day. Cell phone smack and got three call away. What's up, sexy? Hey, baby. What's up? Ready to get up out of here? Yeah. All right, cool. I got a room for us, all right? Okay. So. Sure. Okay. Okay. 
fuck? So where that money at? Ain't nobody in this business. Man, this shit fucked up, man. Thought I was gonna tell this bitch where we was really at. Man, if it wasn't even you, I don't think I would have believed it. I, st I still barely believe it, but... It's you. That's amazing, man. Your life... This whole story... It's just blown my mind. Hey, man, it's been one hell of a ride, you know? Hey, wait a second. Before you go take a shit, I gotta ask you. Why stop now? My big homie gave me that lighter. He always said, in this life, you know, don't come with a retirement plan. Don't take care of me, or your family. Big home. Of the enigmatic so called local dynasty. Know your target. Big home. Y'all was told, you know, for one more job, you're not gonna lay low for a while. Especially with all the shit that's been going on there. You know, fears and diapers and such. You know, I'm talking. Look, man, that was not even me, man. I, t I was just there filming. Listen, man, that just shit wasn't my fault earlier. You have no fucking idea. And that had nothing to do with.
appreciate your commitment. Cause a boy used to stay with that plastic Any nigga out of line he can have it Let a nigga know my pocket Jurassic Stolen out of my mind getting blasted Nowadays my niggas just laughing Every day trying to cash in Living life to the fullest Never knew this could happen Trying to build this empire Making money off rapping Making money off movies Making money off fashion I put in work, don't ever call me lucky Any nigga out there be hating, you need to cut it Rap extortion, make another artist scream for justice All across the globe, your niggas open to the pilot Chill, you talk shit, nigga, we do this All of my niggas be moving All of my niggas make movies All of my niggas get to it None of these niggas be playing fair But I believe in karma, so I feel like something in the air